don't know. Oh, oh. <sighs> hey guys, it's me. If you don't know who me is, I'm Cousin Alice. I'm stepping in for Curly Queen today. If you're wondering where that little is, she's suffering from third degree aquaphobia. And I, her cousin Alice, am stepping in today to talk about pet peeves. What are we waiting for? Oh, shoot, we're rolling. Okay, um, my first pet peeve is people with American accents. I just can't stand them. That is why I've been hiding my accent from you this whole time. <laughs> you love good joke? Because I am fun-loving prankster cousin Alice from Drusselstein. <laughs> Alice. Now let us commence our pet peeve experience. <laughs> Have you ever heard the word PDA? A public display of affection. Me and my boyfriend back in Drusselstein, we kiss all the time and I never realized how disgusting and annoying it was until... <laughs> Until we broke up! <laughs> Malkovich, I love you still! If you're watching this video, Malkovich, I miss you! <laughs> Enough when I see people doing public display of affection, it makes me miss you so much! I can't stand it! My life could have been different! My life could have been so much different! And when I see people in the public doing affection, it makes me miss you so much and I hate it because it gets my blood, it gets my blood boiling. It makes me miss you, Malkovich. So if you're watching this video, please come back to me. Cousin Alice wants you. She wants you back. <laughs> Can we go on to the next one? Let's continue. <clears throat> You like that, right, from Cousin Alice? Oh, uh, one thing I hate so much is whenever people chew with their mouths closed, just like this. I love to see the food flying out of their mouths like flecks of speed on a hot summer's night. It just makes me so, uh, I love it. And when people chew with their mouths closed, it's like they're not enjoying the delicious schnitzel prepared for by the chef. And it's disrespectful. In my country, we love to see the mouth open and the food dripping out. But yeah, that's another pet peeve to add to the list. In all the countries, like America especially, you see people with the high socks. They pull it all the way up to the top. For what? I want to see your legs. Show me those legs. We want to see them. And when you have the high socks, it takes away from those gorgeous legs. Cousin Alice loves the legs. So uh, another add-in to the pet peeves. You need to have no high socks. It is disgusting. That's all I'm going to say about it. When I'm watching a movie, I like to experience it fully by eating snacks or cuddling up in a warm blanket, especially when I watch love movies. And when I'm in the middle of a love movie, I like to have complete silence. I don't like to hear people talking or asking questions. Cousin Alice hates that. And when they talk, it's just so irking. I don't want people to speak in a movie. It is disturbing and I'm trying to watch the girl and the boy make out. And whenever they are making out, like me and Malcolm, what she used to do. <laughs> it's disturbing. It's disturbing. Stop it, okay? I try to watch the love between a girl and a boy who love each other very much like me and Malcolm, what she used to do. <laughs> Don't talk during movie, okay? Do not talk during movie. Nothing more to be said. I am grown adult. When I see grown adult acting like child, it irks the pet peeve in me. You know, I was rapper back in Drusselstein in my prime. I used to say this. 
One, two, three, four. If you got the bills to pay the bills, start acting like a man. Don't hold your mommy's hand. If you got the bills to pay the bills, stop acting like a kid. You know what you did. Grow up. Be a man. Don't hold your baby mama's hand. The next part is explicit, so I don't want to continue, but you get the point. Cousin Ellis, his style. You know this. My old friend Gladys Sella, we grew up together. We did everything together. We were inseparable. I loved her like a sister. And whenever, whenever me and Malkovich were dating, <laughs> Gladys Sella wanted what she couldn't have. She took Malkovich from me. She copied me, everything about me, but she did it better. She did it better. And I can't control that. Malkovich wanted her instead of me, but she was just trying to be me. She was copycatting me. And, and Gladys Della, she stole Malkovich from me. <laughs> Don't be a copycat. <laughs> When I was little girl, I used to have to carry Frida the family goat up the hill and down the hill to drink the sacred water from the sacred well that made Frida big and strong. And it also made me big and strong, cousin Alice. And it was also very unnecessary work. My grandpa used to say, uh, I'm honest! That means things matter, not harder. And people who... Uh, Go out of their way to do a simple task. Very annoying. That, my friends, is a pet peeve. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it was very stupid, stupid, stupid to be here today. Do not subscribe to Curly Queen. She actually had me deported from Drusselstein to be here today. Uh... I'm the only family she has. Well, it was a pleasure to meet all of you, delicious content consumers. As Curly Queen says, Pogger out! No, no, Ellis, Ellis says, well, Ellis's grandfather says, 